Hello, my name is Rick Annunziata, and I've been a member of Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church and Our Lady of Loretto in Worcester for about four years. I joined after the closing of Mount Carmel. I was a baptized Catholic. However, as a kid, our family didn't go to church much. My father's job caused him to travel quite a bit. And when he did, my mom would read me and my older brother Bible stories. My mother did not realize the importance or significance of that gesture, but it planted a seed that would later change my life. You just never know what impact you will have. Seemingly insignificant things we do and experiences we share can change lives. Maybe that's why I have such a heart for evangelism today. At age 19, God began to pursue me and my entire family. All of a sudden, family members inexplicably wanted to attend every prayer meeting, Bible study, and mass they could get their hands on. I had a very powerful conversion experience. I kneeled in prayer in my bedroom and rose a totally different person. I've not been the same since. It was that dramatic. And I cannot accurately define what occurred to me on that day, but I know I met God that Good Friday many years ago. I immediately started attending church at Mount Carmel in Worcester in the late 70s. Father John married me and my wife, and we were really close to him, often visiting at his house. When Father John retired, I lost my bearings a bit, and for the next 25 years, I began a restless pursuit looking for a community, a church, that would fill a void in my life. That search led me to many different churches, which included Lutheran, Baptist, Methodist, and many non-denominational churches. But it never seemed like I belonged to any of these places, as if I was some kind of a sojourner. I was looking for a place, a purpose, meaning perhaps, a place to use my gifts, but I didn't understand how to find this place, nor how to define my restlessness, but God knew me. Around 2010, I came back to Mount Carmel and later to Loretto, and I couldn't be happier. How odd life is. I spent a lifetime trying to find fulfillment in my spirituality, a sense of completion, and then I ended up doing a complete 360, returning back to the place I started at age 19. Our world tells us we can find peace and fulfillment in so many different places. But if we listen carefully, we know it's not true. Our peace is often temporary and very unsure and often dependent on our circumstances. But when we're in the place that God wants us to be, everything just falls into place. I've learned that salvation is not my search for God, but his relentless search for me and for you. St. Augustine said, we've been made to praise God and our hearts are restless until they rest in God. Nothing else will suffice. All our searches end up making us feel unfulfilled and insignificant until we find ourselves in God's plan for our lives. The day I walked into Loretto, I knew I found my home. It's a flourishing community of really warm Catholic families. Over the last 12 years, I've made so many lasting friendships that mean so much to me. Mass ends, and they're usually many of us talking and exchanging hugs and greetings long after the Mass ends. We are a warm community that's encouraged to get involved. At the minimum, simply getting to know your fellow parishioners can blossom in ways you could never imagine. From parish-wide get-togethers, dinners and festivals, and family activities, to prayerful, prayerful holy hours, Loretto's got you covered. There are so many opportunities to serve, but the heartbeat of any successful parish, including our own, is the focus on deepening our relationship with Jesus Christ. I hope this short video gives you an idea of who we are. Please consider joining us. You'll be happy you did. Thank you for listening and God bless you.